Hello grade 5. Our science lesson today is about living things. We're going to see how they grow and reproduce. First, let's take a look at this diagram. It shows animal classification. Animals in general are classified into two groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. So, in the vertebrates group, we have five kinds of animals, birds, mammals, amphibians, fish, and reptiles. And as invertebrates, we have sea urchin and earthworm. And we're going to study these two types of animals throughout the lesson. Let's talk in details about classification of animals. One of the major factors that scientists use when classifying animals is whether an animal has a backbone. So animals with backbones are called vertebrates. Most backbones are made up of small bones that are linked together. We have different kinds of vertebrates. First of all, the fish. Fish are vertebrates that live in water. They use their gills to take in oxygen present in water. Frogs are amphibians. They are vertebrates with smooth skin. Most amphibians live part of their lives on land and, and part in water. Snakes are reptiles. Reptiles are vertebrates with scaly skin. Most reptiles live on land and some live in water. And finally, mammals are vertebrates that have hair or fur on their bodies. Young mammals drink milk from their mother's bodies. Animals without backbones are called invertebrates. Invertebrates vary from very simple sponges to complex insects. Here we have four different pictures that show four different invertebrates. So we have the sea urchin, the sea star, the marine sponge, and the earthworm. The simplest invertebrates are sponges. Earthworms are invertebrates that break down materials in soil. Now let's move to the stages of life. All organisms go through different stages in their lives. These stages all make up the life cycle of an organism. Humans, for example, start off as infants. They grow into toddlers and then develop into children. Finally, humans grow into adults and then grow old. And this is the life cycle of all humans and we can see it in the first picture on the left. Now in some animals, every life cycle begins with a fertilized egg. The eggs of most mammals develop inside the mother's bodies. After a young organism develops from the egg, it will continue to grow. Now we're going to talk about the metamorphosis. And this process happens in the life cycle of certain animals. Some animals do not just get larger as they grow. An animal may change so much that at different stages, it doesn't even look like the same organism. Some organisms completely change form as they grow, and this process is called metamorphosis. We should know that there are two different types of metamorphosis. We have the complete metamorphosis and the incomplete metamorphosis. The picture on the left shows a complete metamorphosis. In complete metamorphosis, an insect such as this ladybug goes through four different stages in its life cycle. First, the insect begins life as an egg. The egg hatches to produce a larva. The larva eats and quickly grows in size. A larva develops into a pupa. Because the pupa does not move, this is often called the resting stage. And finally, the adult emerges from the pupa. The adult insect can fly and reproduce. Now, another type of metamorphosis that occurs in some insects is incomplete metamorphosis. In the incomplete metamorphosis, we have three stages. We have the egg, the nymph, and the adult. The nymph stage looks like a smaller version of the adult but a nymph cannot fly or reproduce. 
So as the nymph grows, it molts or sheds its hard outer shell. The nymph molts several times until it finally becomes an adult. Now we should know that metamorphosis is not limited to insects. Frogs also undergo metamorphosis as they go from egg to tadpole, then to adult. Now we are going to talk about animal adaptations. By definition, an adaptation is a characteristic that helps a living thing survive. Now some adaptations are differences in the bodies of organisms. That's why we call them physical adaptations. If we look at the picture of the Arctic hare, we notice that it lives in a cold environment. So if we look at the animal, we can see that it has thick fur to keep it warm. And also it has small ears that prevent heat from being lost. In the picture on the right, we can see a jackrabbit. A jackrabbit lives in a hot habitat. So this animal has large ears that help keep their blood cool. So all of these are physical adaptations. It means adaptations related to a body part. And these adaptations help the animal survive in its environment. So if this characteristic helps the animal survive, the animal is likely to reproduce and pass on the characteristic to its young. Now we are going to continue with physical adaptations. But we should know that some physical adaptations protect living things from being eaten. Other physical adaptations help to keep an animal hidden. This type of adaptation is called camouflage. Many plants have adaptations that help spread their seeds. In the first picture on the left, we can see that the owl is camouflaged to look like the bark. In the second picture, we can see the green lizard hides in green grass. And in the picture on the right, we can see that the bright color of this rose attracts pollinators. Now we're moving to behavioral adaptations. The way living things act is called behavior. Some behaviors are adaptations that help animals survive. Behaviors that animals know how to do without being taught are called instincts. But animals have to learn also other types of behaviors. We call them learned behaviors. For example, in picture number one, a lion cub is not born knowing how to hunt. It learns how to hunt by watching its mother. Now I'm going to talk about some behaviors. Some animals move to different locations to find food or to reproduce. This behavior is called migration. And I should mention that it is an instinctive behavior, so animals do not have to be taught how to do it. Other animals hibernate. Hibernation is a long period of inactivity that is like sleeping, but hibernation is not the same as sleeping. When an animal hibernates, its body processes slow down and it stays inactive for months. Thank you for watching.